This is the same setup as last video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to erase the entire flash and make it a brick. Then I'm going to use the boot system mode to recover it. Uh, first, we power on the ECU and turn on the Unink MT. Uh, this is the regular E92 cam. Uh, wait for we get uh, debug on. Now I'm going to erase the flash. Now it's erased. Uh, if I do not power off and it, a program, this ECU is going to work, but I'm going to break it. So currently I'm going to power off the uh, 12 volt and then uh, power off, let's say power on again. And link MT. Once this is uh, turned off, let's try to detect. And you should never be able to get the, uh, the debugger on again because you are complete brick. This one, not even flashing. So the issue is in the brick state. So now let's power off everything. We need to solder some wires. So take out everything and flip over here. We need to solder one wire here and two wires here, two, two short wires here and one wire connect here so we can go into the uh, boot mode. This is the other side of the ECU. I still have the power and the CAN bus connected on the bottom. Uh, three wires are soldered to enter to the boot system mode. One wire is from here and this pins will be used in the next video for the JTAG programming. And two wires here to enter special boot mode. Uh, when you do the JTAG mode, uh, these two wires are necessary, but this pin uh, wire is still needed. In the software, we are going to select the the BAM mode for the uh, MPC E92. Okay, ECU E92 BAM. Uh, click OK. So now in this UI, you need to enter the password properly. And since we have read the shadow, so we are going to get the shadow from here. Uh, let's go to the what we got here. Here is the shadow we get. And we can go to the, this here and check this box. So now we have the password entered properly. And now I'm going to power on the ECU and then power on the Unink NT. And now hit detect. We are in the boot assist mode, even though the, the flash is completely erased, we can enter into the, the uh, debug on mode. Uh, look at the clock speed, uh, the camera speed is at 200 kilohertz. So we are going to load this flash and program it. So we just click here. It's erased and now it's starting programming. You can look at the programming speed is only 12 kilobytes per second versus when we're in normal mode, it's about 28 or 29 kilobytes per second. Uh, but this is only when your ECU is completely bricked, uh, you are doing some um, bad things, you know, erased or programmed wrong uh, firmware on it, and then it's bricked. You have to take the cover off, which is very hard to do. Uh, the key to this uh, success is you must need have the backup of the shadow and you have the proper password. If you do not have the password, then you are not able to uh, recover this with the boot assist mode.
Okay, program passed. It will take like five and a half minutes to do the programming. Now it's doing the auto verification. Program passed and verification okay. So uh, this is the one method to recover the ECU when it's bricked. And when it's bricked, then the speed is not that important. Uh, it uh, takes about five and a half minutes to program and five and 15 seconds to verify. In the next video, I'm going to use the JTAG method to recover it, which is much faster to program. So this ECU now is fully recovered and programmed to the original firmware 